What's up, awesome humans, and welcome to my channel. Also, welcome back to those of you who have already been here. Thanks for coming back, I super appreciate it. Uh, for those who don't know, I'm Sarah Matthews, and I am an astrophotographer, and I am a space enthusiast. And this channel is literally all about astrophotography and astronomy and other space-related content. Uh, so uh, in this video, I'm going to be doing a product overview of a beginner-level telescope that you would use to observe the night sky with because the night sky is beautiful. Uh, so without further delay, let's jump right into it. So I'm definitely by no means a psychic, but I definitely have a pretty strong intuition that you're pretty perceptive and you could probably infer that this product overview is in fact about this telescope behind me or like to the side of me. And if that is what you guessed, then you're right. And if you're right, then that's pretty cool. <laughs> um, but yeah, it, it is about this telescope. <laughs> and um, this is the Celestron Star Sense Explorer DX130 Newtonian Reflector Telescope. Now, those were a lot of words, and I'll get into what all that means here in a moment. But uh, just a really quick disclaimer, wanted to let you guys know that this telescope was sent to me but this video is not sponsored by Celestron, nor did they ask me to do this overview um, on my channel. Uh, this was actually sent to me for something else. And since I had it, and since I've used it, I thought I would do a product overview of it in case it was helpful for any beginners out there. So just wanted to let you guys know that. Um, so let's dive into some of the features of this telescope next. So let's kick this party off with going over one of the most notable features about this here telescope and that is that it is, it, it, it is, there's a lot of that going on, um, and that is that it's, it is smartphone and app enabled. What does all that mean? Well, it's a good question. Well, basically, uh, Celestron uh, decided to develop a, um, decided to develop a smartphone application called StarSense Explorer that you use um, with this telescope to navigate the night sky because there's a lot of things to, to look at in the night sky and there's just a lot to navigate. I mean, that's why MapQuest was a thing. Um, that's why just any star chart is a thing. So anyways, um, I'm pretty sure that all of the StarSense Explorer telescopes in the product line, because there are more models than just this in the whole StarSense Explorer line, use that application, which is pretty cool. Um, so let me go over how that works here. First things first, you gotta get the essentials out of the way and that's for sure to have a snack, mostly because snacks are really awesome. Uh, the next thing you wanna do is you want to download the uh, mobile application to your smartphone device. Um, it is available in the Google Play Store as well as in the App Store. So it looks like this. Next, you're gonna wanna make sure that you have your telescope set up. Um, like I have here. Otherwise, it's a little bit more difficult to use this application as it is intended um, But yeah, so once you have the telescope set up and the app downloaded You're gonna want to place your cellular device into this cell phone dock here That's located on the side of your telescopes mount and of course launch the application and you are good to go because the next thing we're gonna wanna do is we are gonna want to help the application to understand what the telescope is currently looking at and its current location. So the application is able to orient where the telescope is or where it's looking at um, by using your smartphone's rear facing camera and the mirror on the smartphone dock here. Um, and the mirror should have an open view of the night sky. Uh, so then the app is going to use the real-time camera feed in the mirror to analyze patterns overhead to calculate the position of the telescope. And this app does this by matching star patterns overhead to its own internal database by using what's called a lost in space algorithm or LISA, which is similar to the algorithms that satellites use in orbit to correctly orient themselves. And so once the app knows where in the sky the telescope is pointed at, it's gonna generate a list of targets that are visible in the night sky based on that location. Uh, you can select a target to observe from that list or you can type in a target to observe that you already had in mind. Either way, uh, once you've determined whichever target it is that you wanna see, 
Um, these directional arrows will appear on the screen to help guide you to move your telescope to the target's location. And then once the bullseye on the screen turns green, your target is going to be ready to be viewed through the telescope's eyepiece. So yeah, not only does the app generate a list of targets that are currently visible in the night sky based off of your telescope's location, it also helps to guide you to that preferred target that you want to observe, which I think is really helpful for beginners who are just starting out um, and learning to navigate the night sky. Uh, so next, let's dive into some of the hardware features. Behold, the telescope, also sometimes referred to as the Optical Tube Assembly, or OTA for short. Um, it has a Newtonian reflector design and has a 130 millimeter objective lens. Um, we can thank our dude Sir Isaac Newton for this design, circa 1668, which is wild. Um, and so for those who don't know how a Newtonian telescope works, because I mean, I didn't for the longest time, um, basically, light first enters the top of the telescope, uh, telescope, not telescope, telescope tube here. And at the lower end, uh, there is a primary mirror called the objective lens. Um, and then this mirror then reflects the light back upwards. And then this secondary mirror inside uh, the top of the tube right here, this is a plane mirror. And it deflects the light beam by 90 degrees, hence directing it out of the side of the tube. And then the light enters the focuser here into an eyepiece that you can observe. And so focusing takes place here as well by turning a focus wheel on the focuser so that the eyepiece is moved towards or away from the telescope. Now this telescope kit comes with a manual alt-azimuth telescope mount which supports and rotates the telescope into perpendicular axes one vertical and one horizontal. And to control the telescope, it comes with these uh, slip clutches and geared slow motion controls um, in both of the axes that I mentioned, which you use to guide your telescope to the target you want to view. Anyways, um, all of this is anchored by an adjustable full height tripod, which looks like this. And the tripod has this really rad accessory tray to help keep your life organized, or at least mine. As I mentioned earlier, this kit also comes with the StarSense Explorer smartphone dock that attaches to the side of your mount. And this kit also comes with two eyepieces, one for high and one for low magnification. It also comes with a red dot finder scope that you can use when you aren't using the app or if you decide to use the telescope during the day when no stars are out. Um, if you want to use this for solar observing, be sure to literally never, ever, 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 ever look up at the sun with this telescope or look at it directly, uh, you will definitely go blind and that's really just no fun at all and it kind of defeats the purpose of observing the night sky. So if you do want to observe the sun, be sure to purchase a certified solar filter which is sold separately. Um, and so altogether this kit weighs about 18 pounds and it's really straightforward to set up which I think is sweet for beginners and all honestly all experience levels. Um, I did use it in a suburban area backyard and was able to see Jupiter and several of its moons, no problemo. Uh, you could also bring this telescope with you on your next camping trip to, to a darker site. So I'm sure some of you out there are like, cool, 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 thanks for the details, but how much does this cost, Sarah? Well, it does cost 459 US dollars, not other types of dollars like Australian dollars, and um, it's available for purchase on um, the Celestron website or on Amazon or other uh, astronomy retailers. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys found this product overview helpful. Um, please consider giving this video a thumbs up and subscribing to my channel for more astronomy and astrophotography related content. And until the next uh, video, I will see you all on the flip side.